The holidays can be such a treat for all of the senses. There's so much delicious food, beautiful music, and so many interesting things to see. Fragrance is also a big part of all of this. I love the smell of cinnamon and hot apple cider, but I also love those aromas that are crisp and clean, like citrus and fresh cut greenery. How about a way to make the most of these fragrances in the form of a gift that'll make the home smell fresh after the holidays? It's potpourri, and many of the ingredients can be gathered directly from the garden. There's no exact science to creating this, but I do try to combine things that look and smell good together. I start by mixing foliage together in this large bowl. I'm using eucalyptus leaves because they hold up for a long time. And these ginkgo leaves I like because of their shape and color. For a little textural contrast, I'm adding some of this cedar. And of course, fruits and berries are always visually interesting. So I'm using some of these eucalyptus berries as well as some of these dried flower heads. I dried these lemon slices in the dehydrator but you can do the same in a low temperature oven. Now to carry on this citrus theme, I also use some of these lemon balm leaves. Now I'll just blend all of this together. What a beautiful combination of color and fragrance. To give your own potpourri that extra little boost, you can use these essential oils. These are concentrated fragrances from flowers, herbs, and spices. Since I followed a lemon theme with the aroma and color of this blend, I'm going to further enhance it with the essential oil of lemongrass. This is sort of like baking chocolate chip cookies. If you want to increase the flavor, add more of the essential ingredient, chocolate chips. Only with this, just add more oil. Since I want this to be particularly lemony, I'm putting about four drops per double handful of the potpourri. And I'm folding it in to make sure that it's distributed evenly. Now these seed heads are good because they absorb the oil and hold it. Now for the presentation. Since most of this came from the garden, more or less, I like to carry out the theme by packaging it in a simple clay pot. I just fill it with potpourri and leave a bottle of the oil on top to refresh it later. For wrapping, I just pull some of this clear wrap up around it, tie it with raffia, and accent it with some greenery. You just want to make sure the potpourri is completely dry so it doesn't cloud the plastic. What a perfect gift from the garden. I'm Alan Smith.